Hello, Gelzer National Area. We are live on our Google Hangout for Sunday, March 6th. So I'm so excited to be on here. Oh my goodness, I should probably put my mic on because I think this is better. So hold on one second as I plug myself in. I've been sitting in this office for like an hour getting ready, seriously, and then I don't put the microphone in. So hold on, <clears throat> I'm going to get a better connection, I think with them we have two viewers on yay glad you're here hold on let me get that in oh maybe it's not gonna work come on oh mm, can you hear me okay text me if you can hear me okay um let's see <clears throat> okay i'm taking whoa i'm taking things out of my computer that i don't think are supposed to come out so let's try this oh no i have 12 viewers okay all right, now my mic is on. I think it's a better mic, so we're going to go from there. Oh, my goodness. Welcome to the March Google Hangout for the Gelser National Area. And we are going to start with our recognition for pace setters. Ah, are you so excited? Oh, my goodness. The third week of pace setters is over. And so thank you, Amanda Collins, so that she can hear me. I appreciate that. All right, we are going to start with the top 10 units from week three, okay? Are you guys ready for this? The top 10 people in pay setters for week three. Okay, here we go. Number 10, Barbara Stuckey with 325,000 points. Number nine, Mary Isaacs with 355,000 points. Number eight, Renee Westfall with 378,000 points. Number, I don't know. I can't, I, I don't have a number. Number seven, Alicia Montaigne with 378,000 points. Number six, Beth Mazak with 398,000 points. Here are our top five for the week. For the week, okay, top five. Number five, drum roll please, from the Heidi Gelser unit, Becky Clements with 447,000 points. Number four, from the Heidi Gelser unit, Vicki Paul with 463,000 points and now our top three who get a beautiful beautiful bracelet oh my goodness congratulations um from the Basel area stacy wilson with 472,000 points yay stacy from the McIntosh unit with 557,000 points, I think her best week ever. Beth Eddings, congratulations, Beth. And number one from the Missy Peters unit with 597,000 points, Angela Larson. Woo! Congratulations. Yay, that was the top 10 for week three. Now, not all around, week three. All right, here we go. Top 10 sales directors for the week, okay? Number 10, Laura Hiddle with 375,000 points. Number nine, Martha Klein with 429,000 points. Number eight, Jimmy Riley with 437,000 points. Number seven, Nikki Hill, 449,000 points. Number six, Jill Nelson, 465,000 points. Number five, top five, Ashley Goldapsby with 526,000 points. Yay. Number four, Michelle Reinauer with 500. 31,000 and now the top three for week three getting the beautiful sparkle stretch bracelet okay with 548,000 points Nikki Bartel woo congratulations number two with 555,000 points Trisha Bless congratulations and number one are you kidding me blowing the competition out of the water with 747,000 points for the week none other than my baby sister tammy cloud congratulations tammy number one for the week are you ready for the overall consultants in the entire pay setters with almost 500 400 and some people i like to exaggerate 400 and some people okay playing the game of pay setters for the last three weeks building your businesses oh my goodness Number five, I love how we make these points. <laughs> Number five from the Tammy Clout unit with 1.164 million points. Mary Isaacs, congratulations. Mary is not only in her second month of DIQ, she's also finished her first month on Charter Car. Do you think that the activity and pace setters works? Absolutely. Number three from the Woodworth unit, Alicia Montaigne with 1.2 million points. Congratulations. Woohoo! We're moving up to the top 
three consultants who won beautiful prizes from this pay setters. Are you ready for this? Oh my goodness. If you are local to me, you will get them tomorrow night at Moving Up Night. If not, they'll be put into the mail. Number three, winning this gorgeous pair. My lighting is super funny. This gorgeous pair of Kendra Scott earrings. They are pale, pale pink. They're super iridescent, super beautiful from the Heidi Gelser unit with 1.286 million points. None other than on target car driver and DIQ Vicky Paul. Congratulations, Vicky. Yay, yay, yay. You get those beautiful Kendra Scott earrings tomorrow night. Number three, you guys on target. Number five and number three are on target for their cars and in DIQ. I don't know. Is it a coincidence? I don't think so. Number two. Number two from the Missy Peters unit, earning this beautiful, beautiful guest purse. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love it. Is none other than Angela Larson. Congratulations, Angela. She moved her way up in the rankings. Last month was such a last week was such a great week. You get this beautiful guest purse. Congratulations, Angela Larson. We're so excited for you. Number one, oh my goodness, with 1,477,000 points for the contest period from the Nikki Hill unit, winning the beautiful pink Kate Spade bag, none other than Renee Westfall. Yay, Renee, who will be going into DIQ on April 1st. Woo, we are so proud of you. Congratulations. Oh my goodness, are you ready for this? the top five sales directors in the Paysetters program. Number five, with 1,634,000 points, Jill Nelson, congratulations. You had a great run, sister, awesome. Number four, and this was tight, this was tight, with 1,752,000 points, none other than Ashley Goldovsky. Congratulations, Ashley. But Ashley, I'm so sorry, because I know you were gunning for the top three, but you know who beat you? Your senior sales director. None other than your senior, Nikki Bartell, with 1,768,000, beating you by a mere 16,000 points, winning the beautiful Kendra Scott earrings is none other than Nikki Bartell. Congratulations, Nikki. We'll be earning her Cadillac by the end of June. Yep, Cadillac, baby. It is time. We are so proud of you. Number two from the Gelser National Area with 1,888,000 points. None other than on-target Cadillac driver, Trisha Blast. Congratulations, Trisha. And you win the beautiful, beautiful black and white guest bag. And I can't wait to bring it to you tomorrow night. We're so proud of you. And the winner for the sales directors with 2,021,000 points is, you guessed it, Senior Sales Director finishing their third Cadillac this month, Tammy Cloud. Woo! Congratulations. Oh, my goodness. On target for the National Court of Sharing. On target for the National Court of Sales. On target for Triple Star. We are so proud of you, you guys. Oh, my goodness. I am so, so proud of all the work that you did in Paysetters. Now, are people getting off now? They're like, okay, we know who won. We're out of here. <laughs> Maybe, maybe, but I hope you stay. I hope you stay and hang out with me for a few minutes tonight because I have some things that I really, 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 really want to share with you. You know, what I heard when I asked, you know, what you learned from the pay setters and some of my directors responded to me. I know that you all responded to your sales directors and my unit responded to me is that what you learned is really to, um, tighten up your skincare classes, number one, right? To really see what are you doing great, but what little things were you missing? Some of you were not booking from appointment to appointment. Some of you realized you weren't doing individual closes. Some of you realized that you weren't um, getting referrals or guest lists. Some of you weren't coaching your parties as well. I just want to remind you, not every party is going to be great. Not every party is going to be great, okay? But I want you to be great at every party. That's the key. You see, we can't control if people are going to book. We can't control if people are going to buy. We can't control if they're going to recruit. But we can control ourselves. Are we going to be the best consultant that we can possibly be at every appointment, right? Is the time spent away from our families worth it? That's the question. Another thing that some of you realize is that you can do both and. You can do both and, and that's a very powerful phrase, both and, as a consultant and as a sales director. 
You can do both selling and recruiting. You can do both finishing month end and booking for the next month. You can do both and. You can, as a sales director, hold your personal parties and build leaders, right? It's working strategically. It's working Mary Kay the right way. Mary Kay always did both and, always. As a sales director, she took people with her. As a recruiter, not even as a sales director yet, she took people with her. That is the best form of new consultant training, my friends, because you will be better. You will be on your game when you take people with you. So both and, both and. I hope that you get excited about this. You know what I hope? I hope that you keep this going. And we're going to talk about that in just a moment. What is a strategy to keep this momentum going? Because seriously, sisters, you are rocking it out. You are rocking it out. I got a call from Mary Kay from Raul, who's actually going to, he's from sales development, and he's actually going to be the MC at the Madison Career Conference. And he's like, oh my goodness, Heidi, what is going on in your national area? People are just going crazy. I know, I know. It's because we're working. Hello. When the Gelser area works, we're ridiculous because we know our skills. You're ridiculous. I'm so excited about the explosion that's going to happen in your life, in your personal business, in your sales, in your team building. Oh my goodness. Watch out, people. Watch out. It's the final four, baby. It is the final four. Okay. Recognition for the month. For the month. Okay. Here we go. Top 10. I'm going to have to put on my sun, my glasses, my sunglasses. Hello. It is so dark in this room. I do not need my sunglasses. I know the lighting is ridiculous, but I'm going to have to put on my glasses. I know I glare. Top 10 in the Gelser National Area for Consultants Court of Sales. Are you ready for this? Number 10 from the Terry Shaw unit, Maria Stowe with 12233 in retail production. Number 9 from the Tammy Clout unit, Kelly Agin. Number 8 from the Heidi Gelser unit, Becky Clements. Number seven from the Becky Mueller unit, Zaron, Zaron Hill Alcala, yay. Number six from the Heidi Gelser unit, Vicki Paul, the top five sisters. Ashley Brond from the Brianna Douglas unit with $15,000 in retail production. Number four from the Jamie Lopez unit, Janie, Jana Applegate with $16,931 in retail sales. Number three from the Tammy Clout unit, Sarah Giese with $17,288 in retail sales. Number two from the Tammy Clout unit, Mary Isaacs on target for the National Court of Sales with $24,689 in. And the number one consultant right now in the Gelser national area by dollars by dollars from the nikki hill unit twenty four thousand seven fifty five. yay remember the national court of sales is forty thousand dollars in retail production okay the half court is twenty thousand in retail production all right let's get excited about that the top consultants in the gelser national area in recruiting number seven from the nikki hill unit andrea comer number six from the Tammy Clout unit, Michelle Superett. Number five from the Jamie Riley unit, Lindsay Snowpack. Number four from the Nikki Hill unit, Renee Westfall. Number three from the Amanda Collins unit, Sarah Puebla. Number two from the Tammy Clout unit with six qualified team members, Mary Isaacs. And the number one person for court of sharing in the Gilser National area from Mary McIntosh unit, Beth Eddings. Congratulations, you guys. Remember Remember, 24 qualified team members is the national court of sharing, and 12 is the half court of sharing. All right, now, I put out a challenge to the Gelser National Area in the, who is going to Madison Career Conference, whoever earned the luncheon with three active new team members in one of the months, December, January, or February, or you did the perfect six in those months, you get to come to my room for a pizza party. So let's find out who completed those across our national area. Earning the luncheon with three or more active team members in one month, Jamie Riley, Beth Eddings, Megan Cruz, Nikki Hill, Tammy Clouch, Trisha Bless, and Vicki Paul. Congratulations. Woohoo! Going to eat some free food. That's exciting. Okay, with the perfect six. That means they held six parties. They did six career chests, and they placed at least a $600 wholesale order in the month of February. Congratulations. These are the numbers I have so far. If you've done it, just let me know. Tammy Clout, Nikki Hill, Frankie Leach, Jamie Riley, Megan Cruz, Kate Unger, Tracy Hankey, and Angie Day. Congratulations. Oh, my goodness. Now, I'm going to put something out there, guys. Here's the deal. These people, if they're in, I'm going to Madison Career Conference, you get to come to my suite on Friday night and you get to eat pizza for free. For free, I'm paying for you. 
If you are in your red jacket by career conference, not even by today, by career conference, by Friday, you get to come to my suite. If you're already in your red jacket, fantastic, but you have to bring $3. You don't get in for free, okay? Oh no, only the people who completed the challenge get in for free. So if you're in your red jacket or above, team leader, um, or above, you guys get to come. Sales directors, you guys get to come, but bring $3, okay? But you guys, if you get into your red jackets by like Thursday of the week before career conference, you get recognition on the stage at career conference. Like seriously, you get to walk across the stage and you get something cool for your pin. So just do it. Get to senior, get your red jacket, three active team members. Now next week on Sunday, Sunday night, we're going to have a Google Hangout, a leadership hangout, leadership at 7 p.m. Central Time. And it is for anyone who's in their red jackets. At first I said you need to be in your red jacket by today. Get in your red jacket by next Sunday at noon and you will get the link for the Google Hangout. My friends, we're looking for DIQs. We are looking for DIQs. We have three DIQs right now. Congratulations to those women. Beth Eddings from the Mary McIntosh unit. Oh my goodness, congratulations. Mary Isaacs from the Tammy Clout unit. Finishing this month. And Vicki Paul from the Heidi Gelser unit. Finishing this month. That's three. We're looking for 11 more women to go into DIQ on April 1st. And we are passionate about that because we are rocking 30 sales directors by the end of the seminar year. In fact, by June 1st, is it you? Is it you? 10 active team members and being a star consultant by March 15th. We know you can do it, you guys. It just takes, oh my goodness, you're going to do it. You're going to do it. Okay, here's the people that had perfect 10. We already met the people at perfect six. We had one person in our national area, Becky Clements from the Heidi Gelser unit, who finished her perfect 10. Ah! Congratulations. That's 10 parties. That's 10 interviews. And that is, um, over a thousand dollars in wholesale production. Well, guess what? She placed well over that because you know what? Becky sold thirty six hundred dollars in retail production last month. She placed over um, a fifteen hundred dollar wholesale order. No problem. She's paid for a vacation already for spring break for her family from her sales. She has one new team member that signed last month and she just texted me and said she has a new team member signing right now. You guys, she only works the weekends because of her husband's schedule and she has four small children. In fact, Becky had a baby the end of December. And in January, she finished her perfect six. Did you hear me? She had a baby the end of December. She has three other children. She finished her perfect six in January. She finished her perfect six, 10 in February. And she's going to finish her perfect 10 this month as well. My friends, why not you? Why not you? She perfected her skincare class. She got great at her parties and she started coaching them and it made all the difference in the world. Everything is in your pace setters book. Okay. It's all there. Oh my goodness. So excited. Congratulations, Becky and a perfect 12. We have a perfect 12 earner in the Gelser National Area. Congratulations to soon-to-be senior Cadillac sales director, Trisha Bless. Ah, 12 parties, you guys. Are you kidding me? I am so excited for you, Trisha. I can't wait to hear her sales numbers, but I'll tell you the recruiting numbers. Here we go. Bronze medal in the Gelser National Area with three team members, Cara Skelser, Nikki Hill, Tammy Clout, Brianna Douglas, Mary Isaacs, and Jessica Friday. Are you kidding me? You're recruiting machines out there with Silver medals, silver medals. Congratulations to Jamie Riley, Trisha Bless, and Frankie Leach from the Tammy Clout unit. Frankie, you are running with the big dog, sister. You are running with the sales directors with that silver medal. And I'll tell you what, you know how Frankie got that last team member? She was finishing up her perfect six on the last day of the month. She had a goal with a deadline. I was there. Remember, I was at their success night doing pace setters from there last Monday night. And at 9 p.m., she and Tammy did her last career chat. And before midnight, that agreement went in. She finished a goal, you guys, and she got a new team member. And she did perfect six, and she's coming to the pizza party for free. Pay the price. Listen to this. Pay the price to be in the presence of powerful people. Pay the price. And you did it, Frankie. And I'm so proud of you. Oh my goodness. And with a gold medal, with a gold medal, none other than DIQ and on target car driver and number three in the national area and pace setters, none other than Vicki Paul. Ah, only gold medal in the national area. We are so proud of you, Vicki. Congratulations. I have to tell you this, your top five units, you got to hear who you are, my friends, top five units right now in the Gelser National Area. And if you're part of that unit, be shouting out there, be shouting, even though I can't hear you in your virtual world. Number five, the Susan Riordan unit. Number four, the Jamie Riley unit. Number three, the Amanda Collins unit. Congratulations. Oh my goodness. Number two, the Tammy Clout unit. And I have to tell you, my friends, Tammy Clout got a very interesting text message on Friday evening. 
Mary Kay, the company, texted her and told her that her unit is ranking in the top three at the Madison Career Conference for new unit members. That means they have preferred seating, saved seating. Oh my goodness, we could not be more proud of you, Tammy Clout Unit. Top three. Ah! I'm so proud of you. And the number one unit in the Gelser National Area. Last month, they completed over $29,600 in wholesale production. Oh my goodness, congratulations to the Nikki Hale unit. And I just want to give a big shout out with over 12000 wait a minute, over $21,000 in production in the Tammy Clout unit. They are finishing Cadillac and beyond this month with over $12,000 in production. The Brianna Douglas unit, shut up. You rocked it out, sisters. Congratulations. With over $8,000 in production, the Jamie Lopez unit. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness, there's some great people rocking in that unit. With over $7,000 in production, Megan Cruz, Brandy Lampman, Trisha Bless, ah! And with over $5,000 in production, brand new sales director, Mary McIntosh, and her unit has a DIQ, Beth Eddings, oh my goodness, Kate Unger, Jamie Riley, and Susan Riordan. Ridiculous. I am so proud of each and every one of you. Holy cow. Okay, did I get all of your recognition as I'm dropping my papers because I'm so excited? I think that I did. Okay, so you know where you want to be by career conference, my friends. You want to be in red jackets. You want to be in red jackets. You want to be in red jackets. But how are you going to get there? How are you going to keep it going? Well, you know what? Your sales director has probably given you the information, but you've been a little busy, and I get that. And we have all these ideas, and you're like, oh, my goodness, Heidi, just let me work. Not one more idea. And I thought that. My, my friend Sue Panko said, Heidi, we've got to hear from Mary Grunholtz at our director meeting because she's got this great 21-day challenge. I'm like, oh my goodness, if I get another idea, I'm going to puke. Anybody? Anybody? Right? You're like, just let me work. And Sue's like, no, this is really, 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 really good. Okay. So look on your boxers. Look on your Facebook. If it's not there, it'll be there by tomorrow when Kim Ferguson comes in. I know I've given out to my pay sitters people. I've given it out to your sales directors, and they're going to roll it out to you however they see fit. But there's a 24-minute video that Mary Grunholtz made about this 21-day challenge. But what it's about, you guys, is about making the contacts that need to be made. Now, I'm going to give you some statistics. Okay, here they are. 48% of sales reps never follow up with a prospect. They get a person's name and they never follow up. 48%. 25% make the second contact and stop. 12%, 12% make the third contact and stop. 10%, only 10% of salespeople make more than three contacts, okay? Which is true, I mean, that's me. I very rarely make more than three contacts, okay? I probably make two at the most. Seriously, if I'm going to be honest with you. But listen to these stats. 2% of sales are made on the first contact. 2%. 3% are made on the second contact. 5% are made on the third contact. 10% are made on the fourth contact. This is all in that video. And 80% of sales or bookings or anything that you want good to happen happens on the 5th through the 12th contact. Okay, I know that. I've known that for almost my entire career in Mary Kay. I know those numbers, but I didn't know what to say. I didn't know how to keep following up with people without being jerk, right? Don't you all know what I'm talking about? Mary Grenholtz has taken this idea that she got from another direct selling company, and she has mastered it, and it's on the video. And the website that will be emailed out to you. If you got a piece of paper, you can write it down now. It's www.bit.ly. www.bit.l as in lion, y as in yellow, slash 21 day challenge, all together, 21 day challenge for results. What it is, is it gives you scripts. There's scripts on there. If, if it's sent to you on a boxer, you just hit it, you open it up, and you can see it. The scripts are right there. But it, it's very simple, my friends. You can use the same scripts that you already use. We have a great script book. But on the second, you call them every three days. So you need a list of 30 people, and it tells you that. You all have a list of 30 people. I'm serious. You all know 30 people with skin. You all know 30 people you've contacted and haven't contacted you back. You know all 30 people that you've left messages for. You all know 30 people that you've been afraid to talk to. You have 30 referrals. That was part of your, your job in this pay setters was to find 30 people, right? 
And I bet you didn't contact them all, or I bet if you did, they didn't contact you back. So there is one script that you're going to use for day one. Then you're going to call them and text them three days later. So the first two contacts you'll find are a call and a text. Then you call 10 call and text 10 other people on day two. Then you'll call or text 10 other people on day three. And then you'll go back to the list one on day four and go back to them. That's your third and fourth contact. You see what I'm doing, you guys? You actually have a system. Now, Mary gives you some thoughts for that. You can talk with your sales director, but you guys, it's a system to be able to contact people after six times because when does the sale happen? 80% of the sales happen between the fifth and the 12th contact. If you look at that, you're going to find your information and we'll talk more about that. But you guys, that's what's going to keep you going. That could be the missing link between you and your perfect 10. That could be your missing link between you and going on target for your car. This could be the missing link. So that's what I'm going to challenge you to do. Make 10 phone calls a day. Make 10 phone calls a day. And the reason it's called the 21 day challenge is because it takes 21 days to make a habit. You guys, it's easy to do something for a day. In fact, most people stop this challenge after the sixth day because they don't see results. When do results happen? between the fifth and the 12th contact. If you quit after the sixth day, you're gonna miss the magic. So check it out, the 21 day challenge. Talk to your sales director about it. Get your own simple system, but get excited. Get excited about getting 80% of the bookings, 80% of the sales. Do it for 21 days. Test market it with your sales director. Come back next month and be the speaker on this call and let us know how it changed your business. I dare you. I dare you. I dare you to do something great by making 10 phone calls a day. That's what it is, is picking up the phone and you make the phone call and then you follow up with the text. But you guys, there's nothing more powerful than your voice. And the women who did it last month, they gave testimonials at our, at our director meeting that were ridiculous, but they just made the 10 phone calls a day. Can you commit to something that's going to move you forward? Who could get excited about $4,000 in sales yourself this month? Who could get excited about having so many bookings you're going to have to give them away? Get excited, you guys, because you will win. You will win. You will be driving. Driving a car by the time you go to seminar. You will be a sales director by the time you go to seminar if you decide to do the small right things every day. And I'm going to challenge you. I want you to box me. I want you to text me. I want you to let me know if you are in for this, or at least if you're in for talking to your sales director to figure out, to get the details about how to do it. I already have Vicki Paul, Becky Clements, and Julie France who are in for the Gelser unit. Okay, you guys, who is in for you? All in. Hashtag all in. Make a difference in your life and in your family. Well, what I want to share with you now, just for a few minutes, oh my goodness, I'm so excited because as most of you know, I went to NSD Scholar Week last last week in Dallas. And I was privileged and blessed to train the new national sales directors there. And I want to share just a couple of things that I learned from them to share with you. I want to make sure I'm telling you everything. Okay, so I'm following this up here. Just some things that I learned. Some amazing thoughts. You know, we had a woman by, there by the name of um, Carrie Buzzkirk, and she's been, in Nash, a Na she's been in Mary Kay for over 40 years. She started when she was 19 just like some of you who are on this Google Hangout right now. You started when you were young, when you were 19 years old or even 18 years old. She saw Mary Kay. She walked with her. She talked with her. And she gave us this quote. Mary Kay said, I'll tell you if you're successful when I meet your family. You see, Mary Kay truly believed in keeping God first, family second, career third. And she wanted you to keep your career third, not 33rd. But she wanted you to keep your family second. And she said, even if you were the most successful person in the world, but your family wasn't happy, then you weren't successful. Isn't that interesting? You know, I met nationals from around the world. Katrin from Germany, Marianne from Norway, countless women from Brazil who spoke English, but one woman from China who spoke English, Olga from Spain. And I want to tell you something, you guys. You know where their, all of their dreams were born to be national sales directors? At seminar. You see, in Dallas, they earned the rights because they were the top in their countries to be able to come to our seminar in Dallas. And when they saw those national sales directors walk across that stage, just like we see the national sales directors walk across the stage, that's where their dreams were born. You see, they paid the extreme price to be in the presence of powerful people. They were the best in their country to earn the right to go to seminar. 
My friends, you and I don't have to earn the right to go to Dallas. We get to go. We pay for it with our sales. Do we spend our time and energy? Absolutely. And our money? Absolutely. Do we invest it? Absolutely. But if you're not willing to invest in yourself, no one else will ever be willing to invest in you either. I'm going to give you the dates. The dates are Ju July 27th is day zero. That morning, we're going to have the DIQ director meeting. And if you're on this Google Hangout, you'll be in DIQ. So you want to get your flight for July 26th. And I think we're going to stay at the Omni. We haven't gotten that information from Mary Kay yet. But you're going to want to fly into Dallas on July 26th. That's the date because we're going to start the next morning, July 27th, with the director DIQ meeting. That afternoon, we're going to have the Red Jacket Rally. Oh, my goodness. We're meeting with four other national sales directors to put together this Red Jacket Rally. We had one last year. Powerful. The best part of summer. Seminar. That night is our area night, the Gelser area night, where you'll be recognized for all of your achievements. You'll meet all the people that you're hearing about on this Google Hangout. You don't, you can't miss it. You can't miss it. And then you're going to fly out. Oh my goodness, I didn't write this down. You are going to fly out on the 30th, but not until like, you don't want your, you don't want your flight to leave until three o'clock or later on July 30th. So be looking for flights now. If you can drive, you're doubly blessed. But my friends, if you're going to career conference, you get a break on your seminar registration. Okay. And so it's worth it. These women all from other countries, their national dreams were born at seminar. Why not you? Why not you? Oh my goodness. That's where my national dream was born. Something, uh, I'm just going to give you a couple of quotes that I got um, from Pam Shaw, National Sales Director. She said, you must never dim your light because you make others squint. You guys, as you get better in Mary Kay, you're going to get more confident. You're going to get more excited. And some of your old friends aren't going to like it because they're not growing. She said, never dim your light just because you make others squint. She also said, as you wake up in the morning, you should ask yourself, what is the one thing? What is the one thing that I can do to, today? What is the one thing that I can do today that will make the biggest difference toward my goal? What is it? One thing, you guys. It might be booking a party. It might be having one career chat. It might be making those 10 phone calls. What is the one thing that will make the biggest difference towards your goal today? Carol Anton said, winning is to keep going when the world would have given you permission to stop. Winning is to keep going when the world would have given you permission to stop. I know so many of this, you have this Google Hangout, you have life going on. I mean, Becky Clements, you had a baby at the end of December. The world would have given you permission to stop, and yet you decided to hold a perfect six in the month of January and a perfect 10 in the month of February. Julie France, you deal with health issues, and your husband is looking at losing a job, and the world would give you permission to stop, and you're going forward. Shelley Di Giovanni, I mean, you just moved here from across the country. You're holding three to four jobs to make ends meet. The world would give you permission to quit, and yet you sell roll-up bags and, um, and sets, huge $200 sets every week. You guys don't quit. You're winners. Oh, my goodness. Shantae, Shantae um, from Megan Cruz's unit. You have a baby. You have a full-time job. You're newly married. People would let you quit. And you're like, no, that's the reason I'm winning. That's the reason I'm winning. You guys, you see that Miranda Rice. Oh, my goodness. You've got twins. You've got twins. And like a three-year-old, I think. And they would say, oh, my goodness, honey, you don't have to win. And you have a new team member. You're winning, you guys. I'm going to read that again. Winning is to keep going when the world would have given you permission to stop. That's not what you're doing out there. You're winning. I'm so proud of you. And the last person, I mean, I could go on and on about this, but I, I know we've talked already so much tonight. The last person who came to speak to the new nationals was a surprise guest. And her name is Anne Newberry, National Sales Director Emeritus, Anne Newberry. And she looked at us and she was like Mary Kay. And she just said, Mary Kay wanted you all to make money at every level. As a brand new consultant coming into this business, selling these product at parties, you guys, she wanted you to make money. She wants you to make money while you're on target for your car, selling and team building. She wants you to make three times the money as a sales director. And Mary Kay wanted you in that Cadillac. My friends, it is time for a Mary Kay revival. You see, China is number one. And they probably will be because they just have a big, big country. We're number two. The U.S. is number two. But the U.S.'s numbers has been like this for the last few years. We haven't grown. We've grown internationally because of China and Brazil. But the U.S. hasn't grown. And, you know, she said something that really made me sad. She said that um, she was on a plane these past four months. And like three times when she told them that she was with Mary Kay Cosmetics, one person had never heard of it. 
and one person said, is Mary Kay still around? You guys, if we don't have a revival, if we don't hold full circle parties, if we don't make our 10 calls a day, my friends, this company is not going to be around for the next 50 years like it is today. If we don't go back to the kitchen table, if we don't go back to being the very best consultants that we can be by booking parties, by coaching parties, by looking for our team members, by getting guest lists, by booking from appointment to appointment, by selling sets, by being the best that we can be, not taking shortcuts, not cutting corners, not saying that okay is good enough. Enough is the enemy of great. We've got to stop being good enough because if we're not great, my friends, this business is not going to be around for your children. And it's not going to be around for my grandchildren. And they're going to talk to you and they're going to say, Mommy, tell me how Mary Kay was. Tell me about the olden days when people had pink cars. Tell me about that. You guys, there's no other company that I know of that has these philosophies of God first, family second, career third. There's no other company that I know of that they can have the lifestyle that it has afforded me to have to raise our four children to be confident Christian young adults. And my little six-year-old, who God willing will grow up to be that that I got to spend the weekend dedicated to our church and to Spring Blast and to making connections and to using my Mary Kay skills to talk to new people. And then to um, let Aiden, Nikki's young son, who just goes to school about 45 minutes away to hang out with us for the weekend, to pick him up on Friday afternoon and to take him back on Sunday afternoon, to allow me to grow, to allow me to be in your space, to allow me to talk to my sister Shelly and, and encourage her to just be the best version of you and that she's doing great today. You guys, I want this for my kids. I want it for your kids. And I want it for your grandchildren. And if we don't create a revival, and if we don't be better, and if we don't be passionate, it's going to be lost. We're better than that. And you guys, we know what to do. And the Skelzer National Area is gifted with amazing trainers and your sales director, some of the best in the company, some of the best in the company. And so what are we going to do with that training? Are we just going to watch these Google Hangouts? Are we going to have fun? Are we going to laugh? Are we going to cry? Are we going to go do something? Are we going to go change lives? Are we going to go change lives? I was talking to Mary McIntosh the other day, and we were talking about her, her paycheck as a new sales director. My friends, Mary Kay herself used to say, your paycheck is in direct proportion to the number of lives that you change. It is. You see, I had a problem with making money because I'd never made money before. But when I heard that quote from Mary Kay, your paycheck is in direct proportion to the number of lives that you change. That gave me permission to make money because in the process, I was changing lives and they were making money. You guys, I have a vision. I have a very clear vision, and that's what Pam Shaw said. She said, Heidi, your vision needs to become clear. We are offspringing 14 more sales directors by June 1st. June 1st, our four-year anniversary as a national area, not July 1st, June 1st. And that means that 11 more of you need to go into DIQ. We have three right now. 11 more of you need to go into DIQ by April 1st, and that gives you two months to finish. DIQ does not take more than two months, I promise you two months to finish and to debut on that seminar stage and to pick up those keys to that free car. You guys, I believe in you. We have 39, 40 viewers watching this. I don't know how many of you could go into DIQ, but if you want to make a plan, if you want to start making 10 calls a day, if you want to go to work with passion and purpose and belief, because the only place that needs to be done first is in your head, in your head and in your heart. And then you will go to work, you will become creative, and you will find a way and make a way to make it happen. You will get those parties booked. You will book them during the daytime. You will book them right after work. You will book them during lunch hours. You will book them on Saturdays. You will book them on Sundays. You will book them on Friday nights. I don't know when you're going to book them, but you're going to figure it out. And you're going to debut on that seminar stage, and you're going to wear that pink flower, and you're going to be holding your sales director's hand, and you're going to be walking across that stage triumphant because you've done it. You've done it. But you know what? It starts with red. That's how this business works, right? We can't get into DIQ until we're in our red jacket. We can't become a sales director until we're in DIQ. So I'm going to challenge each and every one of you to get to the next step by Sunday. Get to the next step. If you've already had a star team builder with three extra team members, get to team leader by Sunday. Not by the end of the month, by Sunday. If you're already a team leader, get to future director to eight by Sunday.
by Sunday. If you're already to the eight, you get to 10 so that you can enter DIQ on April 1st by Sunday. If you're already in DIQ, your challenge is three, three new by Sunday. You guys, it's all about growth. It's all about growth. Jimmy Riley already has three new team members personal. She has a bronze medal this month. Why not you? Why not you? She has four unit members in. You guys, there's nothing different. She's just passionate and she's excited and she's talking to people. Why not you? Bronze medal every single week. Why not you? Why not you? Pay the price to me in the presence of powerful people. Earn the right to be on that Google Hangout next Sunday night. Earn the right to be mentored. Earn the right to new, learn new leadership skills. Earn the right to be in the space of people who believe in you. You guys, take the 10 calls a day challenge. Do something. Do something that's going to move you in the direction to move you up the career path by Sunday. I know that you can do it. And I know that March Madness is about to begin and that you guys, you are on fire. You have everything that you need from this pace setters class. You have everything that you need in your starter kit. You have everything you need in your sales director as your mentor. You have everything that you need. No excuses. Is every day going to be great? I, I think it will. You know, I'm going to tell you a little secret. I don't have bad days. Heidi Gelser doesn't have bad days. I really don't. I choose not to have bad days. I might have a bad minute. And some days I might even have a bad hour, but I don't have bad days. Life is too short and I'm too blessed. You know, the other day I woke up tired. Anybody ever wake up tired? And as I was doing my Bible study, I was kind of crabby. And then I thought to myself, are you kidding me? I'm tired because I'm so blessed. I am so blessed. I am worn out from my blessings. I'm worn out from my blessing of my husband, of my children, of my Mary Kay business, of my church, of my responsibilities as a wife, as a mom, as a national sales director. I am blessed beyond measure that I am exhausted. I'd rather be exhausted from blessings than worn out from laziness. My friends, go out there and make today your best day. And if today is over by you, make tomorrow your best day. Be the very best that you can. Not good enough because good enough is the enemy of great. And let's start a revival starting with the 39 of us who are on this call. You guys, it only takes one person to make a difference and that's you. So go out there and be the best version of yourself. I love you. I believe in you. Earn the right to be on that Google Hangout next Sunday night. I know you can do it. Bye everybody.